Alright. Alright, Ben, let's have a try to seven back again at this time. I hate to tell you, but it's, no, it's not my one of real fortune for the 360. But it is my first game of Jeopardy for the 360. Got it at GameStop today. And helping me out, I got NB Sports of Games in C3 PL626. They turn up well, so my strike gets to here. Well, that's a bit too loud. There we go. Sony Pictures Consumer Products. Also associated with THQ. Jeopardy was created in 1963 by Mel Griffin from an idea such as by then wife Julianne. This is Jeopardy! I also got Johnny Gilbert! Take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth two hundred to one thousand dollars in these categories. Word up. Word up. Okay. When did it happen? Good question. British poetry. Oh. States of the Union. Oh no. Short lines. Okay. And do the math. Oh. Player one, you start us off. Uh, let's do States of the Union two. Let's go over to Sarah. This state's flag, featuring the Big Dipper, was designed by a 13-year-old Aleut boy. State's flag featuring the Big Dipper. It's player one. Ah. Uh. 
Oh, guess what it is? Alaska? <laughs> we return to you, Player One. States of Union 4. With a population of about 120,000, Columbia is this state's most populous city. Player One? South Carolina. That's right. Way to go. States of we Union to 6. You, player One, Mississippi and it have the shortest coasts on the Gulf of Mexico, only about 50 miles apiece. I'm thinking Alabama. Yes, player three? No, that's not right. It's not Louisiana, dope. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it, player one. Troy, what is Alabama? That's right. Woo! Player one, back to you for our next selection. Mississippi and it have to sew this line of the Gulf of Mexico. Okay. It's about 50 miles apart from each other. And it was Alabama. Uh, okay. 800. This state has the highest average altitude of any state east of the Mississippi. Must be pretty mountainous. This state has the highest average altitude of any state east of the Mississippi. We're talking about West Virginia. Oh, I was going to say West Virginia. You get to pick again, player Tears. one. Oh, well. Thousand. Tears were shed when the Teddy Bear Museum in Naples in this state closed its doors forever in 2005. You sure? Yes, player one. Well, that's Florida. That's correct. Thank you, Mikey. We return to you, player one. Uh, when did it happen to? And I'll hand it off to Sarah. JFK won the presidential nomination at the Democratic National Convention in this year. What is? Let's hear it, player one. 1960? <laughs> Take a good guess. Player one, back 400. to you. The U.S. declared war against Spain on April 25th of this year. Uh, shoot. The U.S. declared war against Spain on April 25th of this year. Here's the correct response. 1898. 1898. Player one, you pick Six. again, please. Oh! That's it. The Daily Double. And you're in the lead now. What'll it be? Now, play two has nothing. Player three is already in the hole and reach. has got 2400. About six? Alright. 600. Here is your daily double clue. Bastille Day in France commemorates an event on this date in 1789. Oh, no, wait a minute. It's two days after my birthday. Well, let's try 14. You have maintained your lead. Where'd it go? Player one, you pick again, please. Okay, when did it happen, eh? The Sons of Liberty threw one heck of a tea party in Boston on December 16th of this year. 17... Oh, shoot. Let's hear it, I player it two. 17... Right. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player what is two, poetry make a song two? Number one of these by Shakespeare, from fairest creatures we desire increase, urges a handsome man to have kids. A midnight summer dream. The correct response is the sonnets. Oh, the sonnets. Select again. British Poetry 4. Lord Byron was a major influence on this later poet lord who wrote 1842's The Lord of Burley. Here's what we wanted. Alfred Lord Tennyson. Oh, Alfred Lord Tennyson. You get right. to pick again, player two. 
Change your attitude, or rather chicken. one letter in attitude, to get this word meaning height. Height. Player one. Oh, what is um altitude? You got it. <laughs> Player one, you start. When did it happen, Sal? King John affixed his seal to the Magna Carta at Runnymede in June of this year. 1260. Here's what we wanted. 1215. 1215, that was big close. Player one, pick again. It's what we call a word that has the same meaning as another word. Let's hear it, player three. Synonym? Right you are. Yeah. Well, we sell the hole. Start us. 600. This word can mean a hole or any hollow place, especially in a tooth. Hollow place. Let's hear it, player one. Oh. It's a cavity, I think. Yeah, he's close. Player I had one, a deal with cavities. Start us off. Don't ask. 800. It's one of the bones of the forearm, or a line from the center of a circle to the circumference. I'll take a stab. Let's hear it, player one. What's the radius? Yes! Please pick again, player one. From the Latin for kidnapper, it means to take someone else's ideas or writings and pass them off as your own. What is plagiarism? Okay, player one. Oh, what is plagiarize? That's correct. Well, they will accept plagiarism anyways. Short lines two. When Demi Moore says, I love you in this 1990 supernatural thriller, Patrick Swayze's reply is, ditto. What is... It's player one. I believe what is goes. Wow! Short length You again, four. player one. This character says, I stick my neck out for nobody. Before and after Ugarty's arrest. Player one. Who was... I'll try who was Han Solo. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Okay, player two. Wick Blade. <laughs> player two, you start us off. Salt Line 6. In this 1957 war movie, Colonel Saito tells his captives, Be happy in your work. This is the war of Iwo Jima. Here's the correct response. Bridge on the River Kwai. Ah. Select again. Short line say. Wallace Shawn uses this word several times in The Princess Bride. Mandy Patinkin questions its usage. Yes, player one? Okay. Anyone else want to hazard still a guess got on lead. this? <coughs> Here's the correct response. Inconceivable! Ah! Please pick again, player That must two. be that line. Blake asked, little this, who made thee? Gave thee clothing of delight, softest clothing, woolly, bright. The correct response is lamb. Lamb, that's right. Player two, you pick again, please. 
thousand. Dustin Hoffman flick in which you'd hear, that is one nutty hospital. <sighs> Player one? Nutty hospital? Oh, well, it's Tootsie. Correct. So I know he was in that movie for sure. Player one, you start. Finish up with his poetry, eh? Leaving his girl for his duty, Lovelace wrote, I could not love thee dear so much, loved I not this more. 